What's up, YouTube? Big announcement time. Uh, this is a video I've been wanting to make for a very, very long time. I'm excited that I can finally say this. I've started a podcast. I've kind of been tiptoeing my way into podcasting on my channel. Uh, a few days ago, actually last week, I released a solo update video where I was just speaking into a microphone. Further back, I've done some interviews with other people, but I, I never fully committed to making it a podcast. I just threw them up on the new travel. Uh, and I decided finally, you know what? This is something I've always wanted to do. It's time to stop just thinking about doing it and start to actually do it. Uh, and I started one. Uh, a few days ago, I made a poll. Oh God, you can't see that. Okay. There it is. Two days ago, I made a post saying it's always blah, 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 blah. I'm starting a podcast. Do you want it to be on the same channel or a different channel? And 80% of you actually said keep it on the same channel. And here I am putting it on a different channel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I should probably listen to the poll, but uh, just... Okay, here's what I've learned about YouTube. Consistency really helps. Uh, so even though a lot of people who are, you know, regular watchers of this channel might just want everything in one place, uh, the reason consistency helps is because if a new person arrives at my channel and they're really into travel vlogs or information about different cities, but then they start seeing these new long form posts, they're not going to know what the channel's all about. They're not going to know if they should subscribe. Um, anyone reaching the new travel for the first place won't really know what's going on. At the same time, people who are really into podcasts, they won't necessarily want those shorter videos. So that's, that's the thought process between uh, actually splitting everything off. So I thought about this for a long time, but I'm gonna split it off. I'm making a new channel. So check this out. Man, you can't see anything. Okay. The new travel podcast. I got some cover art. Thoughts on travel and life. That's what it's all gonna be about. Um, I need to update these thumbnails, but this is like the new stuff. So that was last week's. This episode just dropped, so you can literally be the first people to watch it if you go to the new travel podcast. Bada boom. Check out my buddy Yegor, who I sat down with, had a good conversation. Uh, actually, yeah, let me give you a little preview from that episode. Okay, got the cactus, got the mic, got the camera on the pile of books, two cups of tea, I think we're good to go. Welcome to episode number five of the New Travel Show. Yeah, always very special when I have a guest, always even more special when it's a guest who I've known for many years. Welcome, Yegor. Hello. So yeah, that's what it's about. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy who five or six years ago picked up a GoPro and started making travel videos. Somehow grew this audience, somehow got it to the place that I'm at. But I don't know anything about filmmaking or podcasting, even less. So this is a work in progress. Uh, in fact, even like the thumbnails that I'm making. Yeah, this is a total ripoff of a channel I really like called Lex Friedman. Yeah, I've totally ripped off his thumbnail style. Sorry, Lex, I hope the fact that I shouted you out makes up for my bladed copyright infringement. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the point is, guys, we're figuring this out as we go. Uh, the conversations will evolve, they will change. But long, t long term, I wanna start getting some other YouTubers on here. There's a lot of cool, interesting people who I've met in the travel space. I want to have conversations with them. And if I'm traveling somewhere, sometimes you just meet interesting shopkeepers or random travelers or locals who have stories to tell. It's one of my favorite parts about traveling when you meet people like that. And I want to have a platform to share their stories. So that's the idea behind the new travel podcast. Uh, it, it will be a traditional podcast. You can find it on Spotify and all those other things. Uh, again, I got to figure out how to get it everywhere. But I think within a couple days, it should be on all the major platforms. 
uh, leave a comment if you have trouble finding it. But uh, yeah, for now, you can definitely check out that YouTube video on the New Travel Podcast. If you subscribe and click the bell and leave comments and, and watch it, I mean, all that means the world to me because this is like, it just brings me back to six years ago when I was getting into YouTube. But yeah, I'm a big fan of listening to podcasts. I think it's a very interesting way to share information. And I haven't seen any really good ones in the travel space. So that tells me that I got to make my own. <laughs> so hopefully together with you guys, with the community of new travelers, uh, we can make this something cool. And yeah, that's about it. Again, to everyone who just wishes that they were staying on this channel, I feel ya. I understand. I I've been thinking about this for weeks and it just makes more sense to put it somewhere different. On the back end of YouTube, I can see the analytics. I can see how long the average viewer is watching for. And these super long videos, they just don't keep the average viewer's attention span. So if you are someone who does stay till the end or does watch for a long time, that's great. You are one in a million <laughs> and the new channel will be great for you. But if you're someone who doesn't want to watch more than 10 minutes, you're not interested or you don't have the time, that's cool. The new travel will stay the way it's been and you won't have to skip past these super long episodes. So yeah, pretty cool. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, uh, stay awesome and I'll see you next time.